It's another raw video from your favorite YouTube scout, Draft Raw Authentic. Yes, I'm finally here making another video. And like I said, it's a raw one. So there will be no edits. Now, if you've seen my previous video that I put out, it was an update video basically giving you the future videos that was going to be coming out. And in that video, I talked about what I'm going to be doing now for the Baltimore Ravens and actually for every team in the NFL. And that is a rookie forecast. Now, what do I mean when I say rookie forecast? This rookie forecast series will basically, I'll be predicting not what these rookies will be doing this year, but after, let's say, three years, I'm forecasting, predicting what these rookies will be to each and every draft class. Now, as we know, me being a Baltimore Ravens fan, it's it doesn't always work out the way that I'm going to try to put it. And what I mean when I say that in the rookie forecast is basically I'm going to say who's going to be the biggest boom pick, who's going to be the biggest bust pick, and also who is going to be the steal of the draft. Now, to really put it in, to really explain it, is that the biggest boom and bust pick are going to be determined of how, who do I feel is the biggest boom and bust from the first two days of the draft. That means the first, second, and third round. The biggest steal will be the third day, which will be the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh round. Now, with also with saying that, I will not be doing the undrafted free agents of, you know, being the steal and all of that. I'm going to just keep it for the draft pick. So for this Baltimore Ravens rookie forecast i'll be basically predicting what these players will basically be in the future now like i said it doesn't always work out looking at the 2015 class i can't really give you a boom pick but i can give you a bus pick and i could probably maybe give you a steal but not really because everybody is just kind of solid or they were a bus nobody boomed and no steal really put itself out there as being a a good a really like excellent player so with looking at this draft class i think it's definitely going to be better than that 2015 class and i can do it for the 16 and the 17 class but looking at the 2018 baltimore ravens nfl draft cast rookie forecast so without further ado with all that talking let's get started the biggest boom pick of this draft class. Now, like I said, I'm looking at the first three rounds. And I honestly feel as though our biggest boom will probably turn out to be Hayden Hurst. Why Hayden Hurst? Why not Lamar Jackson? Why not maybe Mark Andrews or Orlando Brown? The reason why I picked Hayden Hurst is because... Hayden Hurst is probably was probably the most, I have to say, well-rounded tight end in this draft class. Next to who I felt in Troy Fumagalli, who I felt was very well-rounded, well, well and he went in the fifth round. Hayden Hurst had speed that was better than Troy, and that's what really put him up there. Now, Hayden Hurst is probably the best seams route tight end. And what I mean when I say team route tight end is the tight ends that run literally directly in the middle of the field on a go route. He was the best one in this draft class to do it. Um, he easily gets separation. Um, he's a guy that you can actually kind of use as like a, uh, I've seen him on end rounds as a tight end. To see a tight end on end rounds is kind of crazy, but he did it. He can run with the ball. Um, obviously, he can catch the football. And he's a pretty solid blocker. I think overall, with his overall all-around talent, like what we had with a Dennis Pitta or a Todd Heap, he is probably the biggest boom pick that we are going to have in this draft. Now, people are saying, well, why not Lamar Jackson? If you're looking at this video, the reason why I'm not going to put Lamar Jackson up there is because I always had my questions about Lamar Jackson when it came to that pick in general. But just as a player, before the Ravens and picked him, I had my questions about him. But anyway, Hayden Hurst, I feel as though it's going to be the biggest boom pick for this 2018 NFL draft. Now, the question is, the next thing is, who do I think is going to be the biggest bust? Now, the biggest bust, like I said, is within the first three rounds. I will say that it may be some draft class that will include the, the fourth round pick. in that. And in this draft class, I could include, you know, a fourth rounder, but I won't. I definitely won't. Um, I feel as though it's it's with our fourth rounders that we did got. It's not as bad, you know. When we're talking about Kenny Young and Anthony Averett and 
even though I'm not a huge fan of Anthony Averett at all, I think that with me, I had such a low thing for Anthony Averett, I can't call him a bust pick. And it's a and bust are really more for when you really need a certain position really, really badly, and cornerback wasn't a big position that we needed as of right now. Same thing with inside linebacker. Um, I think we have, you know, we have the, um, I'm sorry, Patrick Owonsar, who I really like. Um, he may not be the best one to have, but I still like him better than, you know, like a Kamala Correa. But just overall, when it comes down to it, you know, you have someone like Patrick Owonsar, who I like, and like an Alvin McClellan, who I think can play. And I feel as though Tyrus Bowser could actually be an inside linebacker, not an outside linebacker. If you watch his college tape, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, when it comes to the biggest bus, I'm actually going to choose. I'm sorry, y'all going to hate me. Lamar Jackson. Why I'm not going with Mark Andrews or Orlando Brown. Brown wasn't the biggest need that we wanted. And with Orlando Brown is he had a lot of big questions about him anyway. So if he turns out to be a bust, it's going to be like, well, the combine numbers and everything else kind of told you so. Um, and if you look at the tape, you'll see what I'm talking about with Orlando Brown. So it kind of already told me that if he was a bust, there was a reason why. Um, same thing with Mark Andrews. I wasn't as high on Mark Andrews. I think that he is, when he gets the ball in his hands, he's very dangerous, but it's, he has to catch the ball, point big period. So with him, it's you know, I always had my little questions about him anyway. So I had to go with the highest, you know, drafted player out of those three, and it has to be Lamar Jackson. And the reason why I'm not too high on Lamar Jackson like maybe everybody else is, is because of I think that as a thrower, I saw what some people questioned when it came to when he when it talks about seam throws and making throws over the middle, he was very accurate. But when it was those sideline throws that he had to make, he was underthrowing it. He was overthrowing it. It was too far to out of bounds. It was never good. His accuracy on the outside was not good. His accuracy between the numbers very, very good. But on the outside of the numbers, it wasn't good. And in the NFL, those in-between-the-number type throws, you're not going to get those a lot. You're going to get the outside throws a lot more. And if you can't make those outside throws, then you just, I mean, <sighs> Like what do you I mean what are you going to do as a quarterback when you can't make outside throws? And I'm not talking about you know the deep comeback just throwing it on the line. I'm talking about go routes or whatever and just try to throw it up and get it get it to your player and he, he's not that accurate with that. Um also he's very thin and I think that people a lot of times you see an explosive player in a black explosive player and you want them to be good and healthy and all that and Time and time again, we've seen guys with like Michael Vick and Robert Griffin III who's been very, very small, and they get hit and they hurt. And it's like, you know, they're on the bench. They're hurt. They're injured. It, and it happens so many times that we can't keep doing this to ourselves. Just because the player didn't get hurt in college doesn't mean that going to the NFL is not going to get hurt. He's very thin um, with the throwing stuff, the throwing motion. He has to get better as a thrower, period, with to be able to set his feet and put in some torque some torque into the way he throws a ball. He can't have his feet real close and throwing like this with a narrow base is not going to work. He has to, like a pitcher, he has to put some torque into it to be able to make certain throws and be able to be more accurate as well. So that helps with accuracy as well. Um, that's the biggest reason. So it's one of those things where it's certain stuff that he has to get better at, and that's how he that's how he's going to become possible boom pick and not a bus pick but as of right now he is my bus player because i need to see him do this stuff i need to see him do it on a consistent basis when it's pressure simple as that and then with the biggest sleeper pick in this draft for the baltimore ravens i'm going with deshaun elliott yes i'm going with deshaun elliott I feel as though he was one of the better safeties in this draft i couldn't believe he went in the sixth round now in training camp, they said that he was kind of average and he hasn't done anything like tremendously great. But it's one of those things is where you're still learning the plays, you're still learning the playbook, you're still learning the speed. He's going to be, to me, he's a guy that should be able to get to that point. Um, there is that is a lot of ifs in that in that statement, but um, with 
what he can do as a ball hawking type of safety. And because he has the ability to play, to me, to play both free safety and strong safety, which you pair him up with Eric Weddle, he would probably be better than what you get from Tony Jefferson, who I'm not a fan of. But what I'm going to say is, is that I feel as though when it comes to Deshaun Elliott, you're getting someone, like I said, that's not, that's a ball hawking type of guy, a tackling type of safety, but a guy that I think has natural instincts for this game. And I think that he always put himself in the, at the right place at the right time, always in the right position. So when it comes down to it, that is my sleeper pick. And I'm sticking to it. So anyway, uh, like I said, the biggest boom pick is going to be Hayden Hurst, my opinion. The biggest bust pick is going to be Lamar Jackson, my opinion. And the biggest and the sleeper pick <laughs> will be Deshaun Elliott, my opinion. So anyway, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. If you didn't like what I had to say about certain players that the Ravens drafted, whether it was about Lamar Jackson or Hayden Hurst or Deshaun Elliott, please comment so we can debate about it. Please share this video so other people can join the debate and we can build this big draft community that I know I like and I know you would definitely like. And once again, this is Draft Raw Authentic. I thank you for watching. Goodbye.